You guys hear that? You know what time it is. Are you sure you want to go through the storm? If you crash, we can't come back for you. No. I need cover from Altera satellites. And then we have a moose out. Looks like the lighting's changed in there. Don't really like it to be honest with you. But those meteors in the background look amazing. Damn damn, that planet looks different. I might have to go back and take a look at that. Let's see if they I think they've updated this. Yeah, we're gonna check this out. Oh yeah, they've updated. Oh, totally. Hang on. New voice acting. Damn, that was sick. There's the life pod. Wow. They, uh, they definitely updated that. Big time. Has new voice acting okay all right bye bye i guess <laughs> as new voice acting there's a bunch of stuff happening with that i like that hit from the satellite dot prod <laughs> that pod wow and I, I i thought i saw something and i need to uh i need to go back i'm like i'm like 90 percent sure i saw something but i thought my eyes might have been playing tricks on me too give me one second i really don't like the lighting in here i, I don't know what it is about it it seems uh it seems really bland obviously it's work and development so they need to work on that i like the lights on the floor I thought I saw something. Let me just, uh, it's, oh my God. Oh my God. You guys don't see that yet, do you? Look, there's, there's two of them. I thought my eyes were messing with me. I was looking at the meteors. There's two Vespers. Why is there two Vespers here now? Why, why do they have multiple space stations? Hang on, I need to see. Maybe this is just a bug. That's, uh, that's pretty interesting. Look at this, a second Vesper right here. So they got the main one right here, then that you see. And then this one is out here. I uh, actually, I, I was thinking maybe it was a bug. And I don't even think it's a bug, to be honest with you. Because if you look at it, like that thing was positioned custom into the world. It's not like this thing duplicated, you know? Like this was actually positioned above the planet. It was positioned at a good angle. I have a feeling there's more than one. Maybe the Vesper isn't as special anymore. Maybe it's like a space station. You know, there's there's a couple of them. I could be wrong. It could just be a bug. And they don't mean to have two of them in there. I don't see any patch notes where it says they added the second Vesper or anything like that. I don't know for sure. It also looks like the planet is brighter now as well. It actually looks really nice bright like this maybe a little bit too bright oh yeah you can see the outside of this place too it's like uh it's worn it's rust well it's not even rusted so much it just it just looks warm maybe a little bit rusted yeah especially the interior got some lighting going on i like these little neon lights these are these are super nice and i like they have the nice detail to them as well uh i don't see much of anything else kind of throwing me for a loop though guys because of this this second vesper that's out there I'm going to search around the planet real quick and see if I find another one. I also see there's another below zero map right here. So it's, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know why there would be two. I also noticed the big red planet that we see is gone unless that right there is supposed to be it. But I don't know. There's a second planet right there. It's a smaller one, like a moon or something. I, I guess they're all moons technically, but, uh, yeah, the big red planet's gone. I'm actually kind of bummed out about that. And I hope they add that back because that was like a staple landmark of Subnautica. You know, does that make sense? I think it was. It doesn't seem like there's anything else going on though. So I'm going to continue on with the story intro. I need to show you guys a new creature and some other stuff that was added to the game recently. I, I think it was recently added anyways, but uh, we'll go from there. There we go. Super landing. Just Robocop that. Come on, kick it. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. And we're out. And then there is the explosion. We're back in the world again. All right, so let's see. I just want to check the PDA logs. We're going to check the story stuff as well. I'm going to cheat to try and get all of the story logs if I can. Uh, 45, 46 feet, a little bit rough. Don't think Altero spotted me. I hit from their satellite. Okay, so their satellite. So maybe that's only supposed to be one Vesper and there's two up to right now accidentally. The work docs are pretty much the same. Personal log is pretty much the same. Emergency is pretty well the same. 
data downloads is pretty well the same except it's uh sam pengling selfie okay all right so it's gonna be a selfie of sam so i wonder if sam's gonna have an actual model in game because right now we only have alan and he's not even human looking so i i have a feeling that sam is gonna have a model in game she may even be like an interactable uh entity in the game wait is this different do you see that the bottom left guys are these different did they change the bars are they thinner i feel like these are thinner i have that feeling obviously transport booking is there so everything is pretty much the same give me one second let me let me just let me just do a thing it's kind of interesting i found one <laughs> interesting photos and it looks like sam was using the spy penguin to spy on margaret not a wise move if i do say so myself let me get into the drop pod down right here see if it triggers anything else i'm still going through these just to see the distress calls are all from alan departure and all of this stuff here there, there's there's a bunch of stuff i need to go down through because there's so many logs that are in the game now a lot of that is story related then we're going to move into spotting the new creature and some other things as well i think there's some new objects too there we go fiber mesh found the drop pod okay unfortunately i'm not sure how to get all these voice logs i i don't know if there's a command to get all those found one that's actually kind of interesting about the frozen leviathan specimen it actually gives us a really big look into what's happening current events uh they go on to say we found this thing buried in the glacier gave someone a hell of a fright turns out it was walking around a thousand years ago when it fell through the ice it was infected with the kara bacterium the aggressive disease which wiped out the architects had almost all life on the planet since the enzyme cure was released on 4546b the bacterium has all but been eliminated rare specimens like these provide our only live source further research is being conducted on the creature itself that's interesting so then th this disease is basically all but gone because of the 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 leviathans and, and how we interacted with them and what we did uh in the in the previous game that's uh, kind of interesting i don't know how they're going to swing that though who the hell is zeta Z zeta okay that's weird apparently we meet up with someone else later in the story with a spy pengling recording audio of course i have the photos you sent so we sent someone photos what am i looking at here uh on the oh okay all right so it's pictures that you use the spy penguin i guess to find the frozen leviathan to take pictures maybe it's a lockdown research site and you can't get there by normal means that would make sense because that would be a big discovery along with that kara bacterium i have a feeling altera is probably trying to take the only remaining samples from that frozen leviathan and i you think about it guys that could be a hell of a weapon kara bacterium weaponized or on the black market can you imagine the dollar figure that that kind of bioweapon would be able to, to generate? I have a feeling Altera's up to no good, and that's why we're investigating that stuff. I could be wrong, but it makes sense to me. We all know they heavily allude that Altera is a money-hungry corporation. Ha! Ah, okay, yeah, I just found it right here in this log, a recorded conversation with Sam. <laughs> Someone called Fred and Sam are having a conversation. Fred goes on to say, I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck out here. Sam replies, more vandalism. Was it the sea monkeys again? Fred continues, I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. Sam, gentle laugh. And then there's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. It's nothing you wouldn't want to hear about anyways. Just a huge frozen creature in the ice. What? where in a cave not far from your lab here's the extra weird part as soon as i called it in they sealed off the area so the area is sealed off sealed off we need to use the spy penguin now i need to check out the spy penguin and see if that has any changes i'm no biologist but i think there's something wrong with it the skin just seemed off alien so uh that's actually kind of touchy for me because like I, I feel like in a, in, in a world where we didn't know about the Kara bacterium, or it wasn't literally the basis of the original Subnautica, that would hold more weight in the weird mystery around the creature. Like, why is it glowing green? Why are there green pustules and stuff? Hang on, it's loading in. Uh, there we go. There's the big guy right there. So yeah, like, you could you know, right off the bat, like, the guy's talking about these things, but that's just Kara bacterium. We know all about this already from the story of the original Subnautica. Uh, 
I don't know how to feel about them, you know, trying to create mystery around something that isn't mysterious to the players anymore. It's not mysterious to me. We know, we all know what it is. I mean, I think it would be amazing if, you know, we didn't know. It would be way better. And some of you may be jumping into Subnautica Below Zero and you don't know the story. Well, it will be an amazing experience for you. For me, it's probably going to be a little mundane, be a little bit mundane simply because of the fact that I know what these glowing pustules are. I, I know what the bacterium does. Um, and I, I don't know. Maybe it's just a story aspect of like these people don't know what's going on. And maybe that's the thrill. I feel like as a player, we're going to miss out though. If, you know, if it is the way that I'm seeing it right now, which it might not be. I don't quite know where I ended up, but I kind of like it. This is, uh, this is a nice area. Oh, they did put things in here. A control room blueprint. Oh, there's a PDA. Hello. Anything on the personal log? Uh, all right. So that seems like it's everything for now. Let me spawn in, uh, the new creature. Let me just spawn in a new creature. That's everything that I have right now. Uh, this little guy, the discus fish, if that's how you say it. Oh God, it looks gross. Oh, you look nasty. Where'd it go? It looks like, um, I actually kind of don't want to say. Wait, does it have like a gel? What is that? What are you? You have like a weird ass gel. Oh, that thing looks nasty. Yeah, this thing doesn't spawn in game yet, I don't think. I've never seen it before. I saw on the wiki there was a picture of it, but I didn't understand exactly what it was. Uh, this thing is- I need to see something. Oh yeah, they have like a little gel layer. Check that out. That's kind of cool. I don't know if this thing even offers anything else other than, well, it looks, uh, it looks intriguing to say the least. It has a giant eyeball on its face, but, uh, well, for a face, I should say it doesn't even have a face. Um, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think down below in the comment section. It looks kind of cool, but I don't know what the purpose of that creature is actually is if it has one or why it's being added to the game so late stage you know like let me bring in a bunch of them real quick and look at all these little guys and they look nasty when you hold them that is gross you hold you hold it by its freaking eye like that's inhumane as hell I, uh. and it sounds like yeah it sounds like the water effect around them isn't even set up correctly they're not even uh oh and the, and the icon is a placeholder too maybe no maybe not actually it looks like it's it's pretty accurate it's just it doesn't signify the gel layer, if that makes sense. Uh, I don't know. I it, You can't even eat this. Well, then again, I have to cook it first. Let me see if I can cook it. Oh, yeah, I can cook it. When was this thing added? I don't, I don't ever remember seeing these things. All right, I guess. Maybe this thing has been around for a long time and I just didn't know. Oh, God. Oh, God. What the hell? All right, apparently the cooked one, if you hold it in your hand, you just hold a, a big, a big model of it. God, there's so many. All right, I need to show you something else because there was an object actually added to the game too. Uh, so we have the quantum locker, which basically was a glorified ender chest. That's what I've gathered from the majority of your comments in the last video. <laughs> yeah. But this is the Recyclotron. Now this is a placeholder model. It's not done. But from what I understand, it's supposed to be a piece of architect tech, and you put an object into it, and supposedly it breaks it down into... There we go! All right, yeah, supposedly it breaks it down into raw resources, basically. Like, if I put this one in here, I keep dropping the items. Damn it, if I'd stop dropping the items, it'd be nice. Like, if I put him in there... So clicking on it does nothing. I actually have to wait for it to break it down. So just give it a second. I think it's an automatic process. There we go. Yeah. All right. So it actually breaks everything down. I, I feel like this was... This, this is something that Subnautica needed. The, the original Subnautica. And, oh, yeah. You can hear it makes a little sound too once it's done. But I feel like this is something the original Subnautica needed. We needed something like this to break down tools and everything else if we wanted to. Because people were accidentally making things. It was just a mess. But yeah, break, look at that. Breaks everything down and you get all the original stuff. You can't put anything that's not a tool in it. Uh-oh, I'm gonna freeze. I'm gonna freeze! No, 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 no. Come on, little guy. We're going. We're going. Pick up the snowballs. There we go. Oh, I gotta show you something with those, too. Okay, alright. Oh, going down. So it's a placeholder, but it still works. 
Uh, the purification tablet right here. Combine with a snowball to create drinkable water. I have snowballs right there. I don't know how to com combine. Oh, no, no, no. Combine them. Wait, does this have a custom model but not a custom icon? Oh, yeah, it does. Check that out. That's kind of cool. Um, how do I actually use it? Oh, okay. You just click on it and then it gives you a large filtered water. That's convenient. Okay, if I go down here... There it is right here. Here's the spy penguin right here, what we've been working for. Oh, I can pick up snow, but not that. Uh, there's a little cave right here that I noticed that I want to bring this thing in through. Spy penguin online. Yep, yeah, spy penguin little guy, you're online all right, aren't you? And now if I put this in slot three... Oh, we got like a little animation there. That's cool. All right, so if I throw this down. Put you down. No, no, drop it. Drop it. Oh god, I can't I can't drop the spy penguin. There we go. You drop it down. There we go. Oh, oh God. Hypothermia. Take my remote out. Can I connect? There we go. Nice. All right. So this is what we'd be using then to actually get in with the frozen Leviathan and just look around. They've really limited the amount of turn that you get. E to exit. Q to self-destruct if you hold that. Uh, infiltration value. Companionship level. So that's basically just... Companionship is basically if you hang around penguins for long enough, you get more companionship and they like they won't freak out around you, I believe. Infiltration level or uh, value. I don't know what that maybe that's like something similar. There's nothing really fancy in here. It's kind of just Oh, okay. All right. Little little Optowan there. Put that away. I actually kind of like the screen and like how buggy it is because it signifies, you know, like work in progress tech. What happens if I free cam in this? Oh, wow. I found a way to get her, get her head. Finally, you just free cam from the spy penguin. Oh, that, oh, that's creepy. That's super creepy. What if I self-destruct right on top of her? Oh, well, he's dead. I got some quartz at least. It's nice. All right, well, I think that's everything I have for you right now on Subnautica Below Zero. Uh, a lot of interesting things happening with the game. We're going to have to wait and see what happens next. I have a feeling something big's coming, and I don't know why. All right, leave a like if you did enjoy this video, and I will see you in the next one.